Your respiratory system consists of the lungs, the throat, and the passageways that lead to the lungs. Like other body movements, breathing is controlled by muscles. The lungs are surrounded by your ribs, which have muscles attached to them. At the base of the lungs is a large dome-shaped muscle called the diaphragm. Here's how it works. When you inhale, the rib muscles and the diaphragm contract. This lifts the chest wall upward and outward. When you exhale, or breathe out, the rib muscles and diaphragm relax, making the chest cavity smaller, squeezing air out of the lungs. Your nose is the primary passageway into and out of the respiratory system. The inside of your nostrils are lined with cilia and mucus, which trap particles that are found in the air. Cilia and mucus also warm and moisten the air inside your nose. From there, the air moves down into the throat or the pharynx. The pharynx is also used as a passageway for food. But there is a cleverly placed little flap of tissue called the epiglottis. It prevents food from entering the trachea or windpipe. The trachea carries air from the pharynx to the lungs. When air reaches the lungs, it moves through smaller and smaller passageways called bronchi. Bronchi look like upside down trees. At the end of each of the branches of bronchi are alveoli. These are small structures that look like bunches of grapes. Through the alveoli, oxygen passes into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide passes out of the blood and is eventually exhaled. This is called a gas exchange. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs where the respiratory system meets the circulatory system. Through the respiratory system, you bring oxygen into your body. The circulatory system delivers the oxygen and other nutrients to the rest of the body. Let's see how that works.